this awareness, why we feel we have been neglected by Mother Nature or the power that's created the universe and the DNA. The DNA is inside your consciousness too. You know exactly what you should eat. My mother messed me up as a child. I didn't know. I didn't know I was a non-violent species with a non-violent body. There are two types of categories of all the 8,400,000 species on earth. They all fall in two categories. Violent species, non-violent species. What is a violent species? A violent species does not need a gun or a brick or a stick. It's been equipped naturally to be a killer. It's made like that, DNA-wise. Tigers, lions, wolves, bears, they got razor-like teeth strong jaw muscles, and they can kill another animal and eat it on the spot. Furs, bones, meat, and blood without vomiting. We, are, the nonviolent species are made differently. The nonviolent species, they all sweat through the tongue, I mean the skin, just like human beings. These species are horses, cows, deers, sheep. They all have flat teeth. They don't have razor-like teeth. Their jaw muscles are weak compared with the violent species. The violent species have very strong jaw muscles. We, as human beings, when we eat, we have to chew our food in a circle. The violent animals, they cannot chew their food in a circle. They just tear the flesh off in lumps and in chunks and swallow it because they have a long and huge throat system. If we try to do that, we'll choke. So these are signs, these are anatomical signs. If you pay attention to the way you've been made, you can move in that direction. Violent food. Food is also classified into two categories, violent food and nonviolent food. Violent food is food that is acquired through the killing of other animals. You have to eat meat, you have to kill. We sophisticated now, we don't kill animals directly. We hire hitmen to clean them up and put them in food for less. All these and jewels. So these hit men, wrap them up and clean them up for us to buy. But I can't blame you, I can't even blame my mother. She was messed up by her mother. There's a strange tradition in America where 85% of the country is messed up by their parents. School system is messed up. Restaurants play upon this. So I don't want to talk too long about this. There will be time to ask questions. You get a chance to taste some of the food. But I want to end up saying, and stressing, I can't stress enough that you're a nonviolent species. And I'd like to give you an example of a scientific method that I've used in different parts of the world by asking the human being a question. And the question is very simple. How many of you drive? Raise your hand. Oh, I see a lot of hands going up. Let's say you, in good weather like this, and you're moving down the road, and you're in a happy spirit. Without thinking now, without thinking, if an animal runs in front of your car, what is your first instinct? I'm gonna 
gonna call the lady on the end. What's your first instinct? Yes. She says, stop. 99% of the human beings will say that. The reason why she stops without thinking, this nonviolent DNA pulsation, which created this body, gives you the knowledge. Because you're not a killer. In order to kill as a human being, you need a gun, a brick, a stick. You're not made like that. So if you understand how you've been made, then try to live up to that standard. It's an easy way to achieve this. Society has reached a point where it has developed products that look like, chew like, smell like real meat. And we have some products here today. You'll get a chance to taste some taco, uh, wraps, and some other products we have. I think uh, the chef brought some tuna, salad, and you'll get a chance to taste this food because plant-based food eat the best type of nutrition in the universe. They're the only species, visible species, that can eat the sun directly through photosynthesis and drink water. And they give us all of the vitamins, the healthy proteins, as well as most of the effective medicine. Let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. That was something that Dr. Hippocrates, the famous physician who's responsible for today's Hippocratic Oath, he said, let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. If you eat proper food, you'll be healthy because food got medicine in it. And like the pastor said, the longest living species on earth are plants. In California, the redwood, the redwood trees, if you've ever been there, they live in excess, they live for several hundred years. And also in California, they have a bristlecone tree, if you happen to go visit it. In excess of 5,000 years. Trees live a long time because they eat the best type of nutrition. So eat the benefit of the plants. You can't go wrong. Plants are the only species that willingly give up their life. You don't have to run after them. That's what is a nonviolent species. They don't fight too much. And the plants are the most nonviolent. Seventh day Adventists claim that 50% of their members are vegetarians. Recent scientific studies reveal that they outlive the non Adventists by 12 years. Vege vegetarians typically have lower cholesterol than non vegetarians, keeping in mind that all plants are devoid of cholesterol. Vegetarians typically suffer much less from diabetes and high blood pressure. Vegetarians are less prone to develop cancer, rheumatism, arthritis, and heart disease. Vegetarians typically spend less money on health care and medication because 90% of effective medicine comes from plants and herbs. Vegetarians typically have a much cleaner supply of blood and a much more fluid circulatory system. The nervous system is typically more calm and peaceful. The, di the digestive system of vegetarians is less bulky and much cleaner than non-vegetarians. The vegetarian mind is typically much more clear and lucid than non-vegetarians. The vegetarian immune system is typically much stronger and resilient than non-vegetarians. Some of the world's best geniuses that we admire were strict vegetarians. For example, George Washington Carver, Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison, Gandhi, and Da Vinci, to name a few. According to various meat statistical conception studies, it is estimated that the average American will consume within their lifetime 4,800 chickens, 700 pigs, 300 cows, 
and 200 lambs, equally a total of 6,000 animals. plant-based food versus meat-based food. The first one is, plants are the most innocent and simple form of life. Plants are nothing but the, the, the skies, sunlight, and camouflage water. This is what plants eat, which is the purest source of nutrition available in nature. Number three, plants are just pure storehouses of nature, proteins, minerals, and vitamins. Number four, plants do not struggle, fight, or resist being cured for food. They generally are most non-violent, but most non-resistant, and most nurturing of, of any nature's life or form. The willingly surrender and give up their life for the benefit of all other life forms. Number five, plants are essentially nature's givers. They produce oxygen for all life to inhale. They help clean up the air by breathing in carbon dioxide, thereby balancing out our atmosphere. Plants give us food, shelter, wood, medicine, clothing, and other wonderful essentials. Number six, plants possess most of the medicine, ingredients, healing sedatives, and healthy biological cocktails that help cure and prevent illness and diseases that other life forms need and make us a wind infected. The great physician and father of medicine, Hippocrates is famous of his sayings. Let food be in your medicine and medicine be in your food. Mother Nature hospital and pharmaceutical plants are stored in her open fields, green plains and rainforests. Number eight. Plants have no cholesterol, and they are the longest living species upon Earth. A. The bristle cone trees in California have been documented to have lived ex in excess of 5,000 years. B. Most doctors know that plants and fruits contain most of nature's medicine qualities and healing remedies. Number nine. Plants do not have an ex extraordinary system. Number ten. Plants are the second best source of the nutrition that nature has within her bosom, with sunlight and water being her first best resource. Scientific facts, facts about meat. One, according to the famous late health prod prodigy, Mrs. Ellen G. White, Meat is the greatest disease breeder that one can introduce into the human system. Two, man lives by virtue, virtue of his blood and his blood virtue of his food. Three, just as scum and filth can accumulate in the oil lines of our automobiles, germs and bacteria accumulate and propagate in the veins and arteries of our bloodstream, resulting in stanegate and damaging delicate biological vaticus as well as spreading meat-based infectious diseases and pathological conditions. Number four, a person who eats flesh, a person who eats flesh food loads himself with a huge amount of weight material, which brings on fatigue and aging. Number five, meat-based food contains high amounts of cholesterol while plants have none. Six, Meat takes a huge amount of time to digest in a hot interior of our bodies, thereby creating conditions of pure fracture and decay, spoiling and even rotting within us. Also, meat overtaxes and overworks delicate, gradual digestive organs. Number seven, most scientists acknowledge that meat food lattice and malignates virus and germs that can cause cancer, heart disease, and other Malice. Maybe that is the reason why most people say that you should 
cook your meat very cruelly and long, longfully, hope killing off all germs and bacteria that are embedded with the cells of dead animals. Eight, it is, well, it is a well-known fact that amongst marine biologists and germ specialists that fish, fish and crustacean seafood, when dead, decompose much more rapidly than the bodies of other animals. Case of the potamine poisoning are in most instances directly traceable to human consumption of various kinds of seafood. The last one. Valid animals that eat each other are non-valid, have from 10 to 20 times more hydraulic acid in their digestive tract than non-valid animals because of their need for rapid digestion and elim eliminations, thereby protecting them from de developing serious illness from germs, bacteria that can arise from purification and slow digestion. All meat, food, including beef, chicken, ham, fish, etc., are, uh, are synonymous with an unnatural diet and incompatible with every DNA of human beings. Thank All you. is well. All is well. Thank, Thank you. you. So let's um, celebrate our our um, readers today. Thank you guys so much for reading for us. And what I would like you to do is just take a look at the order sheet and also take a look at the booklet to see if you have any questions, if there's something that you want to know. In a few short minutes, you'll be able to sample um, the vegan food. And I know last time we were here, we had chicken nuggets and we also had the fish nuggets. Today they have a, a wider variety of food for, available for you. Just want to know if anybody has any questions. Are there questions from what you've seen in the booklet, from what you've heard from Professor Branson? Any questions about anything? Anybody have any questions? So I'm really excited that you guys are going to get this opportunity to try the food and you also have an opportunity to buy the food because they brought some here. And it's easy to cook. It's an easy cleanup takes a few minutes to get it done and before you know it you're full and healthier so I appreciate you guys staying with us today listening to this workshop Professor Brunson is going to come back the food will be out very shortly so thank you thank you thank you you have a survey so if you could um, just start to complete the survey on what you've heard thus far and if you can't answer the questions because he hasn't presented that topic yet just hang tight he will let's celebrate him as he returns Tried to make the short, the program short and sweet. Uh, we're going to be bringing some food out from the church in the next ten minutes or less, and then you can evaluate the taste. I understand addiction. Addiction is strong in a human being. They can be addicted to so many things: alcohol, meat products different kinds of activities and it's hard to overcome addiction. I met someone because I was extremely addicted to meat food. I love barbecue chicken, beef, ham, tacos and that person told me and gave me the experience that there are foods out there, this was decades ago, that look like, chew like and taste like real meat made from plants. So if you can get a meat methadone, it can help you overcome your addiction and it's healthier for you. You just need to know that it tastes good and got the texture of the real stuff. Anyway, the DNA is the determining factor if you want to stay healthy. And all you got to do is look in the mirror and see how your teeth are made. They made just like the horses and cows and the sheep, like I said. You sweat through the skin. You don't sweat through the tongue. All of this knowledge that I'm sharing with you is inside your head. At the end of one of the, the reading, the young lady mentioned that 
There were geniuses who ate this way. We have a list of them. She mentioned the black scientist who was castrated. He was a slave in the 1800s. And he died in the first half of the 20th century. Dr. Carver. And he looked at the peanut plant with this most valuable assets. The most valuable assets that a, that a human being has is attention. Attention is the most important thing inside this body. It is the seeking instrument that you have. It is the questioning instrument that you have. And the universe will respond to your seeking or questioning. You can question in any area. It doesn't have to be the religious or spiritual areas, any area in the universe will respond with information and knowledge. That's how we came up with the virus. It had scientists putting their attention on the medication, right? How many have been vaccinated? Raise your hand. I see most of us. That's because the scientists put their attention upon it. You have the same amount of knowledge inside your head and more. You go to school and they try to teach you to put their attention. And those who can put their attention on something with great tenacity, knowledge will gush from within themselves. But when it comes out, you think it's coming from outside. You'll congratulate the teacher and say, thank you for helping me. The teacher did nothing but create the condition where you concentrate the attention. And then when the knowledge comes, it comes so quickly that you think it, that you are thinking is coming from outside of yourself. So understand attention. And these individuals who put their attention on plants, like Dr. Carver, he came up with over 300 different inventions from the study of the peanut plant alone. He put his attention on the sweet potato plant and came up with over 100 different discoveries from that plant. Albert Einstein, the Jewish intellectual who won a Nobel Prize, put his attention on the universe. He would conduct thought experiments in his head. And finally, he had, he had an aha moment where he came up with his wonderful equation, E equals MC squared, which means that there is no difference between energy and matter. And when he made this discovery, it, during the early part of the last century, Hitler was in Germany trying to kill all of the Jews. So he was able to escape. He came to America, got his citizenship. And President Roosevelt, he wrote a letter to him. And he mentioned to Roosevelt that Germany and the scientists over there were working on an atomic bomb. And so Roosevelt immediately organized a project called the, Man the uh, Manhattan Project, where these scientists frantically worked on the atomic bomb and came up with it. And they released it on Japan. And when they did that, it had ripple effect throughout the world. Without Einstein attention, we might be under the control of Germany. We got partially under the control of Trump, right? <laughs> but Hitler was worse. So thank to Einstein concentrating his attention and was able to outbeat the German scientists in this pursuit. So the young children here who go to school and your parents encourage them to eat more plant-based food because plants are a strange thing. They have the capacity to loosen up your attention and allow it to concentrate much easier than slushy, uh, slimy, meat-based food. The universe has been set up like that. Einstein, Plato, Socrates, Aristotle, Newton, Sir Isaac Newton, Darwin, Leonardo da Vinci, Augustine Rodin, uh, Rodin, Blake, and many other geniuses ate this way independent of each other. 
They arrived at this conclusion, and it's not that plants are healthy for your body, your physical body, they're healthy for your mind. Because we've been made that way and the universe will facilitate you in your quest for awareness if you follow the way in which you've been made. And if you doubt what I'm saying, help me get out of my illusionary state. Tell me I should eat meat. Please tell me some, something to help me, especially when plants taste just like meat. And I'm, I can't, it's hard to convince me. I'm still open. If you convince me that you are a violent species, then give me any, some information on that. First thing I'll do is look at your teeth. And your teeth are flat. And you have weak jaw muscles. Some of us have to go to the dentist if we bite on something too hard. So if you have any questions, please ask them at this time. Otherwise, we'll have some people at the time of the food being passed out for you to evaluate. You got the sheet of the different types of food. We made pictures of all of them. And on the back of the sheet, the price is there. And we do make deliveries to the Chicago land area. So you can place an order today if you wish. And anybody who's a member of the church we have an agreement with the pastor here, which we will be making up t-shirts. And she says she'll wear her t-shirt every day. It'll have Stone Baptist Church on the back, and it'll have some sayings on the front, quoting Mrs. Obama, who, when she was the first lady in the White House, she had a program, a campaign, encouraging people to lose weight, to reduce obesity problems in America by eating more plant-based food. She planted a garden before the Trump people came in and eliminated it. So she was on the right track. So the pastor's trying to continue that. She got a garden out here and she's trying to encourage you to eat healthier food. And if you can do that over a period of time, you'll get a free t-shirt that says that Let's move to the groove of nonviolent food. Doesn't that sound good? And we do have some people that are already doing this. Okay. So the food will come out. She loves the fish. So if you want to place an order for that, please do so. That's the best use of your appetite. Okay. So without further ado, if you don't have any questions, We'll have someone give you a pen if you need a pen, and you can fill out the order forms. And, the, and we got an evaluation yellow card. When you get a chance to taste some of the food, you can fill it out, and we'll collect those too. Thank you for your unmerited attention. Shona Fitzpatrick and I'm here with Professor Brunson and the Miracle Food. Listen, I just had the vegan fish. I know that doesn't sound like it should be something, but when I tell you it is delicious, I have two more pieces that I, I left in the pan accidentally, but I'm going to eat them because they're very good. I shared as much as I could, but these were left for me. You should really try it. We have an order form here. There are a variety of things that we have. Let me just go under this and get you guys an order form so you can see. So here's what they have. They have what's called a miracle egg. They have a chicken wrap. They also have um, the miracle fish, and I promise you, it, it's like a miracle. They have the fish slider. They have the miracle wings and the barbecue chicken. I'm going to tell you what my favorite is. It's that miracle fish. You can have your own favorite. Today they have tuna here. They also have chicken tacos. They have, um, oh, the watermelon is not a part of that, but they have a slice of watermelon you can have as well. So listen, I'm excited. I want you to get excited. They have the Mexican rice. I am going to try it all because I really like to eat, and I want to eat healthy. Right now I eat whatever is available as long as it's good. So this is good. I'm going to try it. And I wish you would too. Again, it is Miracle Food, and I wish I had Professor Bronson's number. Oh, I can give you the number to Miracle Food, and that number is... 
1804 and it's located 1016 West Jackson Boulevard try it you'll like it and we'll fall in love with it and but then it's healthier you'll be leaner right if you want to lose some weight eat the right types of food and you will peace and blessings thank you out here supporting the professor you know and uh you know sister saying you know we all you know building black business and, and working together uh we healthy clean all natural soap company uh this my daughter jayla come on jayla and uh we have all natural soap company healthy clean you can check us out at Healthy Clean on YouTube, Healthy Clean Kids. They have a, a podcast, educational podcast, we, and we also sell soap. Uh, but we, when we come to the church, we don't sell soap. We just help out and we serve the community. Uh, we met Sister Sam and the professor. Since we've met them, it has been nothing but great vibes. We've been working together to change the community, to change the way we eat, and to change the way we clean ourselves. Because if you eat healthy, you should also clean healthy. People also seem to fail to realize and remember that your skin is one of the biggest organs that your body has. So if you don't clean yourself with the right products, you can also be intoxifying and, and contaminating yourself. So with that being said, you have to eat right like the professor said, and you have to also clean yourself right. And I'm healthy clean, and this is my daughter, Jayla. Bye-bye. Hello. Bye. 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 All right. See you later. Good. The fish is wonderful. The rice is good too. And the whole taco, everything is good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like the real stuff. Oh, it tastes like the real stuff. That's right. Uh huh. Well, I don't know what kind of chicken and rice this is, but it's good though. <laughs> I got to get the recipe for this. I love rice. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, sir.